I'm here at Rocky Pampa of Great Kills. We're here with a 1967 Ford Mustang. Tell me a little bit about how you got the car. I'm a retired sergeant in the New York City Police Department, and when I retired, lots of us, we buy ourselves a little toy for our, our retirement. I looked online and found, then I ended up finding this. I bought it from San Francisco, from a guy in San Francisco. Okay, give me the specs on the engine and all that. Okay, it's a 289, uh, two barrel uh, carburetor, automatic. I try to keep it as original as possible. One thing uh, that it doesn't have, it doesn't have power steering, doesn't have power brakes, doesn't have air conditioning. Because uh. back then, everything was an option. So uh, what do you like to listen to on the radio when you're cruising? Oh, you know, the 60s, that's it. I, you know, I put that on, uh, you know, I love, uh, you know, anything in the 60s. You know, the Beatles or the Beach Boys or whatever. Or maybe Mustang Sally. Or Mustang Sally, absolutely. <laughs> My wife is very much into these cars, too. She loves cruising in the car, too. You know, we always went to car shows. Cool. So uh, what do you say we take this guy out for a ride? All right. Sounds good to me. I myself don't really like to go that fast, believe it or not, because it doesn't have the power brakes, so it's, uh, you know, I'm always a little, you gotta give yourself that little extra two uh, seconds. They had personality, these cars. You saw a, when a Mustang went down the block, you knew that was a Mustang. Uh, a Corvette went down the block, you knew it was a Corvette. Now everything, you know, Hyundai and, and Nissan and Honda, they all look the same when they go down the block. You can't tell the difference. There's no distinction. But back then, there were, you could tell. Everything was different. Everything, you know, there's a Ford, there's a this, there's that.